Hi folks, Pepper from Mint Jam, Cross Mint Farms. Wow, what a great weekend. Mint Jam 09 was just awesome. Uh, I gotta say a shout out to all the supporters, friends, family, community, people that drove uh, from one end of the state to the other just to join us for the weekend. And it was just a, a wonderful, wonderful thing and having the honor of having each and every one of you participate here at the farm. Um, to continue on with the preservation of the farm, tallies are still out. We're still wake, uh, still working on everything, and um, you know it's been kind of silent right now from the bank. We haven't heard anything. To our understanding, we have a 30-day right of refusal, and uh, but it's going to be at the appraised value or whatever the value they want to set on it, and then that'll be the the number that we're going to have to continue to raise. Some of the things I need to tell you guys, and, and you need to pass the word and, and share this information with people. Um, for this whole year, for sales and everything that we've been doing, you know, our business is up 150%. Um, we have, you know, our customer base is growing well over uh, six, 7,000 people. And we're still taking uh, phone orders over our uh, ordering line. And, um, and our website still has been experiencing just a lot of challenges. And those challenges have been happening throughout the whole year, through this whole campaign of trying to be in uh, demonstrating sustainability. And people need to know that uh, you know, we're experiencing some type of just harassment uh, by persons or persons unknown uh, that are trying to uh, keep us from preserving this farm. We have lost literally over hundreds of thousands of dollars right now for this whole 12 months uh, that we've been uh, experiencing downtime and, and being attacked and harassed and just things just are not, uh, I know it's a crazy world out there, but you know, we were doing fine uh, up until uh, three days, four days before our redemption period on our first uh, campaign and we were able to make that number and make that uh, to give us another 12 months. But ever since then, um, it just hasn't not been acting right. And uh, so we've been uh, re-improving our security, redoing things. And uh, so we're going to be up and running by the time probably when you read this video. We're uh, looking at possibly today, by the end of the business day today, to back up and process orders and stuff. But people need to know uh, we're still we're not done and we're still moving forward and and uh, we're still growing and we're going to continue to our campaign to preserve this farm not only for ourselves but it is for you because you know we're halfway through our 98th uh, harvest and it's only done this uh, this far because of each and every one of you uh, each one of our, our customers you know you are our friends now you are not a customer because uh, what I've been telling people and how I feel truly feel is that when you call us up, you know who you're talking to, you know who you're dealing with, and we give our commitment to you that 100% uh, satisfaction. Uh, everything that we do from our raw mint honey, our new candles, uh, soy candles that we have, to all of our candy, and then we also have a new uh, a lip balm uh, online now as well. So please check that out. That comes in obviously two mint flavors, peppermint, spearmint. but. Uh, do not uh, stop helping and reaching out. Spread the word. Share this information. You know, we are the nation's oldest producing mint farm. This is our 98th year, and uh, the preservation about this farm is about sharing education, outreach, community, and it is building those positive relationships that even through all this, um, I'm very indebted to each and every one of you. And thank you uh, very much. I appreciate you.